Hey everyone, Nelson here. Today we're going to make dumplings, one of the most traditional Chinese cuisines you can make. It's perfect for every occasion, whether it's a cold day and you're coming home, whether you have a date that you want to impress, or even if you just want a group activity where everyone can bond together and make dumplings where no two are the same. Dumplings are for you. Now, what will you need? You will need dumpling skin, available from Chinatown. You'll need chives or other vegetables, available from Chinatown. You'll need green onion, also available from Chinatown. And last of all, you'll need ground pork, or whichever meat that you desire, also available from Chinatown. In terms of the different dumpling combinations, we have these types. Now, okay, uh, actually yeah, I keep on running. Okay, so first, we want to unwrap the dumpling skin, and the dumpling skin sticks together when it's wet. So therefore you want to dip your finger into water, such as like a bowl of water, and then when you wet the area that you want to seal, you just need to wet that area and then press it close together, which we'll show you in a bit. But first, you have to prepare the ingredients. So you want to chop these up, both the green onions and the chives or whatever the vegetables you're using. Mix it with the meat, and this could be a bit icky for anyone not in science. Use your hands to kind of mix it all together. Let me show you how. That thing. So now we cut up the vegetables. So as you can see, it's just cutting up into small chunks. You want it to be small because the dumplings are not big. So if you don't cut this small, you're not gonna be able to fit it in your dumpling or your dumpling's gonna have a weird, like, contusion of sorts. Contusion, that sounds pretty nerdy, doesn't it? <laughs> I read too much Wikipedia. All right, so we just cut these up, like so. As for how much you need, you actually don't need that much, but might as well cut them all because we bought the ingredients. By the way, this whole thing costs around $15, which is enough for around three meals for two. So that's around six people you can feed for $15. So it's fairly cheap, but not like super cheap. If you want to have the really cheap food, we're going to have a cheap cooking series where we teach you how to feed a lot of people for a really low price. So that's, okay, I want to say delicious, but at least nutritious and filling. All right. Okay, you can probably Alright, so after you mix all the vegetables together along with the pork, it'll turn into something like this. So you usually want a large mixing bowl and you just knead it like you would cookie dough. And then after it's been thoroughly mixed, it's ready for making dumplings. Next, you use the dumpling skin, you unwrap it, and then just put the uh, ingredients into the dumpling. Don't put too much, but then just put it enough that it's uh, semi-full, and when you fold it, it should be dumpling size, pretty much. So first, you grab one of the dumpling wrappers, and you can put water in a circle around it. So that's, gonna, that's the adhesive part, where it's going to stick together. Then you put the ingredients, the meat with the vegetables on it, you fold it in two just like that, so. And then with a little bit more water, you just squeeze it tight so that way it'll stick together. And then you're done. So it's a very simple process. You just wanna make quite a lot of them, just like so. And as you can tell, I like eating a lot, so therefore I gonna make a lot of food. So after all the dumplings have been uh, folded, all you have to do is put them into boiling water. Now the trick is that you always have to stir it fairly often, especially in the beginning. Once the dumplings are cooked, they usually tend not to stick together, but in the beginning, as you can see, the skin tends to uh, adhere to itself. So you want to make sure that you stir frequently in the beginning, and don't use a sharp object, otherwise you might pierce the dumpling. So it'll be done in, well pretty much when everything floats and it starts boiling. But just to be safe, cook it for extra time because I want you, my YouTube visitor and subscriber, hint, hint, to stay alive, stay safe, and enjoy delicious food.
And there we have it, folks. Delicious, delicious dumplings. Nice, hot, fresh out of the bowl. Now, in terms of seasoning, just add soy sauce or add hot sauce. Or add a mix of the two together. There's this sauce available in Chinatown called uh, the chili oil, which is pretty good. You mix it with the soy sauce and it becomes a delicious spicy sauce. Enjoy the food and be sure to subscribe.